Hello and welcome to this introduction on memory sports and the how to use the Memoriad software. As you can see, I've downloaded this from memoriad.com, www.memoriad.com. The instructions are very straightforward on the website and it will take just a few minutes to download it and you should eventually get a screen that looks a little bit like this with a list of the events, the chosen events on the screen. So just a quick introduction to what memory sports actually is. It's a series of different events where competitors compete to memorise either as quickly as possible, things like numbers, packs of cards, uh, binary digits as you can see, and also um, you have sort of endurance events like marathon, the numbers marathon, so you might have to memorise as many random digits in an hour as possible. I can give you a quick run through of some of the events of how they work and how you can apply your blind techniques to these quite simple, uh, quite simple events, and also how it can actually improve your blind memory. So the main reason to download this program and at least give it a go is to, because it's a really good way of improving your BLD memorization and getting up your speed as well, and getting used to encoding information, things like that, etc. So the best example I could show you first of all would probably be the numbers marathon. It look a little bit something like this. You can change how long you want to memorise for. So just for example's sake, we'll put it up to five minutes. You can choose whether to have the timer on or off. And when you've chosen all your settings, you should get something a little bit like this. And it looks quite daunting at first, but don't be afraid. It's not so hard. So you'll get a big series of randomly generated numbers. Your goal is to memorise as many as possible and when the five minutes is up you will go into the recall phase or you can finish prematurely if you want. So how do you use your blind memorisation techniques for numbers? Actually it's very very straightforward and you can apply the letter pair system and just apply it straight over. So let's take these first, I don't know, ten numbers. We see we have a six and a one here. If I, for example, take the sixth letter of the alphabet, which is F, and the first letter, which is A, I can make a letter pair from that. So FA would be my first one. I think of the FA cup. I go to my second one, 7. So that would be the seventh letter of the alphabet, G, and the fifth, which is E. That's my, it's a girl from school I know called Georgia. You can see here she's just swapped it around. So I put the FA cup. Georgia's head, I take an E, G, an egg, and this would be four, six, which would be D, F, an egg full of beer, and maybe push it over her head so she gets covered in beer from this egg. Another friend of mine is hiding H, D, in a donut, and I could put all that into my first location. I'll show you what the recall phase looks like. Same screen, but everything's deleted. So I'd go through my memorization of what I did with letter pairs. The FA Cup, which is 6 1, on my friend George's head, 7 5, an egg full of beer. I imagine her being covered in beer. My other friend from school, hiding. Was she hiding in a donut? I think. And depending on how many you get right, you'll get given a score. Usually, you get given scores um, by row. If you make a mistake in a row, as you can see along here, you I don't think you get points for the row. So the goal is to get as many rows as 40 as possible. But that's just an example of one event. Just quickly demonstrate some of the others. Speed cards. So something that's associated with memory sports and it's quite um, it's quite popular is the memorizing a pack of cards but actually the process is exactly the same as I can show you here what I do for my memory system with cards is exact same principle I take the let's get a few cards up as you can see here I'll take the first letter which is normally a number or it can be a suit where I um, either like a king, queen, etc. So my first one will be Q. 
and I'll take the suits, the letter for suit, which is a D. So Q, D will be my first card. And for this, I think of um, like a quid. So English slang for a pound is a quid. So a quid. Take the first letter, the alphabet, which also happens to be the same here, A and D. I give a quid to my friend Adam. Third letter of the alphabet, which is C. And the first letter of the suit, which is a C. So I give a quid to Adam. He walks away like Charlie Chaplin. And what I could do here is I could take the, um, the ninth letter of the alphabet, which is I, but I don't really use I, so instead I use N because it's the first letter of the word nine. So N, C. And I'll go, nice. So give a quid to my friend Adam. He walks away like Charlie Chaplin, and I'll just say, nice, for whatever reason. Final two. J stays the same. And H. So J, H, which is sort of G had, just bear with me. <laughs> and finally, sixth letter and an H. So F H, and I think of Mo Farah, the runner, if you don't know who he is. So here's the recall phase. The idea is I have to drag over the cards one by one, which is a bit slow sometimes, but there is a quicker way of doing it. I made a mistake already. You just click the order of the card you want to do, like this. Pretty simple. If you get stuck, you can push this question mark up here, and it will leave a gap so you can come back to it later. I click finish. Next thing. And that should be six out of six. That's an easy. You also get given a score based on um, recall time as well. So that's just a couple of examples of the events. Names and faces is straightforward, you get given random names. Binary digits, I will explain what my system is. It might be a bit daunting at first, but not to worry. The idea of this is, I know it's horrible, you can assign one letter per every four binary digits. So, because there's, there's only 16 possible combinations of sets of four. So the idea is I'll assign a letter here, 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 here. So, it's also very possible to do it visually, which I'm going to try and do here. <laughs> yeah, never mind. But if you go on the internet, on a couple of forums and a couple of um, blogs that some of the top memory sports champions do, you can find really good um, binary system digits systems on there that they've written out for you. Um, and that's about it, really. Also, if this applies to you, if you're interested, you can do mental calendar dates. Daniel Shepherd has a tutorial on his um, YouTube channel on how to do, well he shows you how to do mental calendar dates. There's also mental square roots, multiplications, additions, those are a bit beyond me, I'm a bit crap at square roots and multi multiplications, but additions is fine. And that's basically it, if you want to give it a go that's great. However, it, it mostly applies to people that do blind, but it's actually a fun pastime as well, just as a hobby and just something to exercise your brain, exercise your memory. And having a good memory is basically useful everywhere, especially for memorising things like names and faces. That's extremely useful. I've done that at um, helping out at conferences and at work. It's extremely useful memorising someone's name, for example. They have a great sense of um, that you've put in the effort to work out who they are, for example. But give it a go if you want. Thanks for watching.